Hey guys, it's Sevenfy here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom colors on your UI. So yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the resource swapper, which is how you do this. And I'm also going to be teaching you how to get these custom colors onto your UI. As part of this process, I'm also going to show you where you can put some custom textures that will load into your game every time. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is come to the link in the description that is the Techie Resource Swapper. Once you get to this page, you're going to come down here. You're going to click on this download zip file that should download to your computer. You might have to click save. I just dragged it onto my desktop. And now that it's here, I can unzip it. Once you have it unzipped, this is your example folder. Next, you're going to go to the second link in the description, which is this um, default mod, and that should automatically start downloading. Just click save. Now you can also unzip that, and you should get, mine is called mod 4, but if you've never downloaded it before, it will just be called mod. If you go in here and you grab all of these files, then you can drag these into here. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is go to the next link in the description, and this is the default.zip. And once you download this, it will give you the default CSS and IMG files. If you just drag these in, you should have all of these files now. If you wanna change the colors of these buttons on the left here, you are going to need to change the pictures in this image file. All you need to do is open up these little icons here in the photo editor of your choice and just color them to be whatever you want to be. Or you can choose totally new buttons. Um, any picture will work here, as long as you name the picture the exact same as this one here. That is also the way that you change these buttons up in the top right here. You just need to go into social icons and change all of these to be whatever color you'd like. So once you've done all that, you should be pretty much done with the image folder. Just keep in mind you can change any of these to be whatever you want them to be. And every time you load into game, it will automatically load them up. All right, so the next thing I recommend is going into Krunker and hosting a new game on whichever map you like. Make sure it has one player and zero minutes so that it never ends. And you can click private if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Once you start that server, you will be able to do all of these changes without being interrupted. All right, so now let's get to the bold of the changing of colors. This part is probably the most difficult to understand part, but it's definitely doable once you get the hang of it. So the first thing you're gonna do is press the F12 button if you're on PC, or function F12 if you're on Mac. Or the other way you can do it is come up to these three little lines, go down to more tools, and go to developer tools. That will open up this little thing on the right here. And in order to change these colors, what you're gonna do is come up to the top left of this developer tools, click on this little button here, or command Command shift C if you're on Mac and you're gonna go and hover over anything you would like to change the color of. so I'm gonna start with this join button I'm hovering over it now if you click it will bring you to where that actual button is in this HTML code so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to the right and you can see it says dot button here you want to change this background color you can change this to be whatever color you want I suggest making a bit of a palette down here so it's easier to change your colors and then once you change it you can see that it has actually updated down here and it's updated in these two buttons buttons here and this customized button over here. Anyways, now you can change the box shadow color, which is the color of the shadow underneath. So now it's already starting to look good. You may have guessed that the next thing you do is come back up to this button again, press it and go to the next thing. Say I want to change this ranked button. I'll just click on that. And you see, I'm looking over here for a little green color and you can see here, this is button.g. And if you change this, you can change it here, but you can also unselect this box here and it will automatically default to this button, this dot button here. So if I deselect the box shadow also it will work so once again going back up to this button I will select the servers button and you can see another button.r I'll just uncheck these boxes so it inherits the colors from the other buttons and one last time for the button.p which is I assume purple so now you can see all of my buttons down here are red now you may have guessed it but I'm gonna go back up to this button and hover over anything else that I want to change to red so I'm gonna hover over this Silicon Valley here click on it and you can see header bar dot div I'm just gonna click on this choose my color and it has updated so I suggest just taking some time going to this button clicking on all the little numbers 
numbers you want and change them to be whatever color you want. Now the FPS displays are a little bit more tricky. I spent a long time trying to change the actual number of the FPS, but I don't think that's possible because of the way that it works. So you can only change the little letters next to the FPS. Now in order to do that, you're going to want to click on this menu FPS here. So just spend some time looking around for all of the colors here. Like I can see, oh, I think this is the color for that little FPS number there. If I change this over to red, I can see that it is and so on and so forth. So now I think you probably understand how to change those colors. One thing you might not know how to do is change the actual letters in game. So if I spawn in here, you can see even though we changed the menu FPS to be red in the top left, the little FPS number is still gray and you can't really move your mouse over there to click it because as soon as you press escape, it goes back to the menu. So what I would do with that is just click over here in your elements again, command F or control F, I think in order to find. So basically you want to search and you want to search for FPS. My computer is definitely lagging, but you're just going to go through these little places here and you can see what it's highlighting. And you can see we've gotten to the menu FPS here. Now it's also menu FPS. The next one is still menu FPS. Now we should be at, that's the settings FPS. Once you get to the 11th out of 12, it should be the actual in-game FPS. So if I click on this here, you can see over here we have the element style. Now, I don't think you can actually change that color, but you can change this here. So I'm just going to change that to a nice red and you should be able to see if I spawn in game that the little FPS text there is red. So you should be able to do this with pretty much everything on the screen, like the little free for all on shipyard. If you wanted to find that, you just search over here for command F again, search free for all. You can see this would be the spectator game info. So if I wanted to change this, I don't think it would actually update in game seeing as it's for spectators. But if I go into the next one, you can see this is CUR game info. I assume that that's going to be current game info. So I'll just come up here and click red again and we'll see if that update and boom free for all has changed so you're just gonna use that finding method to change all of the letters on screen Okay, once you're done changing everything, how do you make it so it saves this for every time? Well, what you're going to do is come over to the sources tab up on the top. You might see this crunker.io is already unfolded, but it's probably not. So you're going to come over here and unfold crunker.io. And once you've unfolded that, you're going to click on CSS here and the main.css. And it'll probably have build equals something else on the end. What you're going to do is come over here to this main.css, right click it, click save as, and it's going to be called main and it should be format CSS. I'm just going to save it into my CSS folder here. Save. Now, if we head back here, you should be able to see there is main.css. All right, so we're getting very close here. The next thing you're going to want to do, you can close out of the dev tools now, is head to your extensions page. If you don't know how to do that, so once again, up here, the three little lines, and then click on extension. That will open up the extensions page. And you're going to go into your file system, drag this Crunker Resource Master into here, and you can drop it. So you can see I have two of these, but this is the one I just dragged in and it should be turned on by default and now if I went into a new tab of Crunker you can see that all of my buttons are changed so let's give it a second to load in and for the example I didn't actually get around to changing all of these but in your own time you can change all of these to be whatever color you want keep in mind it does not have to be red and yeah that's how you do it on browser there's also a way to do it on your client when you install the official client, it should already create a folder called Crunker Resource Swapper in your documents. If you take all the folders that are in here, not the actual entire folder, you want to take all of this and drag that into your resource swapper and that should automatically load it up. So you have to make sure that every single file in all of this is named perfectly. If it's even one letter off or one case off, it is not going to work. So keep in mind, you can also change the textures here. If you go into this textures, you can edit these or drag new ones in. Anyways, guys, that is how you do it. Now I have one more thing I'd like to say before I go, and that is that if this is all too complicated for you guys, I'm going to be doing custom commissions for any color you would like. I can change all these colors to whatever color you like. If you message me on Discord, I will be accepting KR or if you wanted to you can send me some real money if you want to join my discord so you can find me the link is also in the description or on screen and with that thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you want to see more like it make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye